like a boss. Alright ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alex from Mind for Attraction and today we're going to be talking about the five types of guys to avoid at all costs, okay? And these types of guys are the toxic kind of men, the kind of men that will completely ruin your life. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of the times women are unsuccessful with dating. It's not because they don't know what to do. It really isn't. It's just that it's just that they, t they stick with the wrong guys. I mean, it's, it's that simple. They stick with guys that are toxic. And by default, your relationship life, your, your, your dating life will be toxic. It's just, it's just how that works. So rather than learning how to make the guy like you, sometimes you get a lot more done by default by learning how to avoid the wrong types of guys, okay? And for those who don't know, we're having a seminar in New York City on the 25th of this month. Um, attend um, because the tickets are running out. We only have like two or three left. Um, and it's going to be a, a spiritual kind of seminar. Um, we're going to be talking about spirituality. And I also will be having a seminar in Miami and LA. Check the description down below to see where, when that is. And I'm going to be having a retreat in Mexico on February. February or March, one of those two dates. So attend that. You guys can purchase the tickets on the description down below so that you guys can attend. It's first come, first serve, okay? Um, there's going to be limited tickets for all the, all the locations, especially for the one in Mexico. The moralizer is the type of person that would judge you if you have sex with him on a first date. The moralizer is the type of person that will judge you because you suck dick. That, 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 that type of shit. The moralizer is the person that will judge you because you please him sexually. You know, it makes no fucking sense. It's backward shit. But the moralizer is the type of person that doesn't accept you for who you are and doesn't see you for who you are. This moralizer comes across as though they're uh, morally righteous. They come across, they might even be religious, but not open-minded religious, but more of like a zealot. He's always judging women by their looks, always always saying, look at that type of women. You know what I'm saying? Like separating the good women from the sluts. That type of guy is a moralizer. And I'll be honest with you, you guys, this is something that it's, it's a controversial point that I bring bring up. But if you have sex with a guy on the first date, it says a lot about the person. Because if the man gets turned off because you have sex with him on the first date, motherfucker, are you fucking serious? You got you seriously judging this woman because you, she has sex with you on the first date, girl. That guy is not he is not the guy for you. Look, moralizers are always trying to change how you look. Are always trying to say don't dress so provocatively. You know, it, it, they're, they're just toxic as fuck. Okay. If the man isn't consistent from the beginning, if he's taking 10 hours to respond to your text from the beginning, if he's canceling dates from the beginning, look, ladies and gentlemen, I know I am detoxic dating coach, okay? But if a man does any of this shit in the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, just find find another man. Be more difficult on people in the beginning. It's almost like you're, you're an employee. If you're late on the third year of your job, okay. Motherfucker, if you're late on the first day of your job, my nigga, just go back home. Just go back home. Like you want to be difficult in the beginning because men show themselves who they are in the beginning by being inconsistent. The problem is, is that a lot of you guys like that shit unconsciously. A lot of you guys unconsciously react to men being inconsistent. That's your main weakness, your words. Men using words and you guys, I'll always be with you, right? And men always, and men who are inconsistent. It's a weakness for women. Look, this is obvious, but how do you find out if a cheater? Look, it's very simple. Every man that you talk to, tell him how you dated a man who was a cheater. Just tell him that. Tell him how you dated a guy who was a cheater and that he changed. Just say, you don't mind. I, be, I do believe that men, oh shit, look at that. <laughs> so tell the guy how you believe that men can change. Tell the guy how you believe that, yeah, man, I did it, I did it. he cheated, but I forgave him and he did change, so it worked out. Why? Because if he's a cheater, He'll tell you if you cheated before. Just say, by the way, have you have you done any like anything on the side before? You know, I don't mind. Like, I'll be honest with you, this is very difficult to find out in the beginning. But to me, this is the best strategy. But then, what happens if you if you catch him cheating, ladies and gentlemen? If you catch the guy cheating, it's over. There's no coming back from that. And if you want to find out if a guy's cheating, ask his his female friends. Females will be more willing to tell you the information, guys. Uh, 
we'll tell you he's an angel. We're not gonna fuck him up. No, no, don't ask me, by the way. I'm not gonna tell you. Cheaters don't change. I'm just letting you know. Cheaters don't change. In the beginning, he's always asking you where you at. In the beginning, he's always saying, um, how, how, let me know when you come home. Let me know when you're this. Let me know when you're that. Like, this kind of person comes across as though they care a lot. But in reality, it's jealousy masquerading almost as though they care. Those type of guys are toxic, right? Because what happens is that as the relationship progresses, they, don't, they won't see you as an individual. They'll see you as an extension of themselves. Obsessive boyfriends will tell you who to not hang out with, who to hang out with. Obsessive boyfriends will, will, will get jealous of you hanging out with, with your friends, with your female friends. Heck, they, they won't even let you hang out with your friends because he will think you're cheating, right? Especially with women who have, who have an anxious type of attachment. You gotta be careful with those kind of guys because it comes across as though it's love. And if you're somebody that, that, that is really anxious, you will mistake obsessiveness for love. Be careful with guys who come, who love you too fucking fast. Be careful with those type of people who fall in love with you within the, within the first week or so. Those people don't love you. They're not even looking at you. They're seeing right through you. Obsessive people will always act, will always need to find out who you're hanging out with. Will tell you don't hang out with that person. Hang out with that person. And a lot of you women will allow that to happen. You guys have to learn how to have boundaries and if you want to know how to have boundaries just put boundaries on my channel you'll find videos about boundaries okay and don't forget ladies and gentlemen i want to thank all of my i'm not i'm not done yet by the way <laughs> don't click out yet but i just want to thank all of my patreon supporters and those who are in the mindful attraction academy um they're part of the vip and 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 and, and thank them all you see them right here because they have allowed everybody to improve that they have allowed me to provide more content for you guys more high quality content okay so thank i want to thank all of you guys and if you guys want to join you guys can see there's a lot of benefits there's videos here there's book clubs you guys can ask me questions and i'll make videos based on those questions okay and it's at an affordable price because i mean I'm, I'm i'm not the cheapest dating coach out there the abuser is is, 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 is something that you guys have to avoid. How do you know he's an abuser? He calls you names. He starts out as the obsessive boyfriend, actually. Um, he gets really angry, really angry. He has, and sometimes they're not even angry, angry people. Sometimes they're more controlled. Point is, anytime a guy calls you a name, calls you a bitch, calls you any name, um, makes fun of you, he, he, is, he has the potential to be an abuser. Anytime somebody puts their hands on you, he's gonna do it again. And don't be ashamed if you're with somebody who's an abuser. Tell your friends. We all walk in shame. A lot of women are in these types of relationships and they're just ashamed of it. But you guys have to realize that this is very common. It's normal. We all go through bad things. We all, we all, and it's luck. We just have bad luck. Some people just have bad luck and they just encounter somebody who's abusive. That shouldn't mean you should keep it to yourself. You should tell somebody. You should ask for help. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's not a shameful thing. It's something that shows strength if you want to get help. So if you're being abused to somebody who's physically abusive, who's mentally abusive, um, who's making you, who's gaslighting you, making you question reality, and he's cheating by blaming you, which, which I do teach to be honest with you. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm pretty toxic to be honest with you. And ladies and gentlemen, get away from that guy. That guy doesn't love you. That guy would not love you. You know what I'm saying? Find somebody who's more positive in your life, okay? And, and if you want to know more signs of an abusive person, just, just go to Google. There's a lot of signs of guys who, who are abusive. The problem is that sometimes you can never imagine yourself being in that kind of relationship. You get what I'm saying? So I care a lot about you guys. You guys are my Alexis. I care a lot about you guys. And you guys are very nice people. That's why you guys watch my channel. But very nice people are susceptible to being used and abused. So counteract that with a little bit more assertiveness, with a little bit more of being uncompromising. With knowing your standards, what knowing what are the things you will, you will, it will or will not accept. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex from Mindful Attraction. I hope you guys attend my seminar. Um, come to all of my seminars. I'm going to be making a schedule for all of the seminars in, um, in the next few weeks. You'll find it in the description down below. And don't forget, this is Alex, your toxic dating coach. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Um, bye bye. All right, ladies. So. This is the course that all of you guys have been asking me for and it's the psychological game of attraction. This is pretty much the course that will make any man beg to want to commit with you. This is the course that I wish, I'll be honest with you, if I was a woman, 
this is the kind of course that I want because it, it, it's it's a course that's specifically geared to help you understand how guys fall in love and how to do it in a systematic way that's almost predictable, right? So let me show you guys how the, this course is, is set up. By the way, there's a 30 day money back guaranteed on, on this course. So if you guys don't like it, you guys will get money back. Look, let me show you how it's done, right? So it's split up in a few sections. The first section is the introduction, obviously, uh, how, what to expect from it. After that is I'm giving you an understanding of the psychology, the, the psychology of attraction, right? Because you need to understand that dating is a game you need to think strategically that there are certain laws of human nature that you cannot break that and just a few things of why people love each other you know it's very important to, to have a realistic expectation after that we go into the pre we, we go into the three phases of every relationship they and they all go in these three phases and these phases could overlap each other at times right the first phase is the pre-honeymoon period it is when you first know the person or it is when you're becoming acquaintance with the guy or it is when you guys broke up or and are back together or it is when you guys had a long period of you guys not knowing each other and now you guys want to rekindle things this works in any point of the relationship that that you need to spark interest and curiosity so these videos are specific for that specific to create curiosity how to get to know the guy the right way using your non-verbals how to create a powerful reputation it's it's, it's tr truly powerful stuff after that is a honeymoon period this honeymoon period is what and is how to get from curiosity to interest to creating a deep connection so all of these videos are specifically geared to that not the 30 no 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 these specific videos are there for this phase and this phase is any phase you guys are having a good happy happy moment you guys just got back together and now you get you feel that peak you feel that that happiness that you guys felt that's what this is right so these videos are there for that creating a lonely fantasy the preemptive breakup the triangle of love using words to control his man it's, it's powerful stuff after that is the post honeymoon period and again is is a short list of videos it's because these videos are there to solidify the connection that you already created so if you're if you just had an incredible moment or you just came out of a vacation with a guy and everything went well you better use this phase because if you don't do this he's gonna become disenchanted it's just how it is these are very specific videos and 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 if you and and all you gotta do is just say all right where am i I, I tell you where you guys are and you just watch the video it's pretty much like being coached by me you got some bonus videos stop being nice dealing with the inevitable how to deal with breakup how to deal with getting over a dude this is a, the, the the how to how to overcome manipulation identifying manipulation the term manipulation defending yourself against manipulation what to do if you're already in a manipulative relationship and how to avoid them through detachment it's pretty much it's an extremely succinct and laser focused course not one waste of motion that's why i love it and there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you guys don't like if you guys don't like it no questions asked people all right and if you guys want to support this channel this is how you support it and um i hope you guys enjoy this all right see you guys inside